Hello guys and welcome back. Apologies from the last previous video. My microphone just stopped completely and the video paused and finished itself and I couldn't be able to do anything about it so I was forced to upload the video so there was nothing else I could do from showing what my accessibility was. So slide 15 was missing the slide but there was no room to fill in the title because it was full of a full screenshot of recommendations so before i check any more accessibilities and slides i want to move on to the next slide it's all about funding social entrepreneurship So go on the slideshow and click on from current slide. Clank Radio, he's a fund in social entrepreneurship, so he's a funder. Clank Radio provides affordable loan finance to community. Voluntary and charitable organizations, community businesses, and social ent ent enterprises. So, through our island, they also support product projects in Kosovo, Romania, Slovakia, and South Africa. Considers loans up to 500,000 euros, which are generally granted for a period of up to seven years but longer repayment periods for up to 15 years may be considered. Finance packages include finance for property purchase, construction or refurbishment, working capital loans, loans to purchase equipment and vehicles, beneficiaries include accessible transport, community childcare, projects and social enterprises. And that's the logo there, and its slogan is Generate and Inclusive Prosperity. The Social Investment Fund, and I was established in 1996, which was the year I was born. The, the year I was I came into this world, 1996, that, that, that's mad. Very mad. So, I'm going to move on. Move on to the next slide. Other re fundraising opportunities through web links. I'm not going to go through it because it will waste valuable time. It could, the, the internet is not good at the moment and it can waste another two to three minutes trying to load up the page. So but they're just the web links. They're good, great examples for ideas for funding your social enterprise. So there's two web links. Go to fundraiser.ie or go to charityvillage.com. So very good. If you're looking to find these websites and you find them hard, just watch just watch my video and then you'll easily find the, the full web links. I mean you can really need to pause the video, just pause it and then go then fill in the full web links to find the pages that you want to fund your social enterprise. I'm gonna move on now to the next slide. This is to tell us about the Social Enterprise Task Force. So the Social Enterprise Task Force set itself the mission of developing a manifesto that would identify the practical ways in which national and local policy could create a more supportive and receptive framework for our social and for the social enterprise. The Social Enterprise Task Force Manifesto added value to delivering hope. The role of social enterprise in national recovery was launched by the Minister for Enterprise, Trade and Innovation on June 24th in 2010. One of the recommendations of the Social Enterprise Task Force Manifesto, Manifesto was developing a social enterprise sector, including building a consistently of social enterprises and those interested in the sector. The establishment of socialenterprise.ie, which is a website, 
a new space where everyone interested in the development or social enterprise in the island Ireland can collaborate and share information and experience forms a key part of this initiative. This work has now continued into a positive and proactive network of social enterprises called the Ireland Network, a social ent enterprise star year. So that's a web link. Once you have that, then you go to the website. This is about the Social Enterprise Task Force report. So this is the, the executive summary of Social Enterprise Task Force. So social enterprises engage in commercial activity or social and or, or environmental purposes. They are committed to social justice. Social enterprises are key components in innovation. Yeah, I explained that from the last video. Uh, social enterprise can contribute so efficiently to achieve the economic growth and employment objectives set out in Jobs and Growth 2010, as well as the Green Economy Agenda set out in development the Green Economy in Ireland, which is based in the reference. If supported in the right manner, social enterprise can also contribute to meet the European Commission's integrated guidelines particularly in respect to innovation and the social economy, which is taken in another reference. Countries that recognise and value social enterprise as part of the real, real economy have achieved sufficient growth in employment and output in the sector while addressing genuine social and environmental needs. Social enterprise in Ireland has the potential growth to grow so initially to represent 5% of GDP and to generate at least 65,000 jobs. But the sector, however, is underdeveloped, representing only 3% of GDP. And in need of the both from within and from a wider policy of support infrastructure, it needs to be mainstreamed into the greater, greater economy. Government needs to recognise that social enterprise can contribute to helping the Ireland work its way out of the current crisis. The sector are if meaningful progress to be achieved. So that's the report. Next slide is, I think that's the slide without the heading. Yeah, that's that screenshot, but the, there's no heading in the slide. So it's main recommendations. The measures proposed by the Social Enterprise Task Force to draw the growth and the development of social enterprise envisage the development of an enabling policy framework which would see the social enterprise agenda adopted and driven by the department with responsibility for enterprise, incorporating social enterprise in the economic and planning and development strategies of local authorities, including a social enterprise remit in within existing enterprise funding mechanisms, enhancing the existing support structures for the business sector so that they are accessible and capable of also providing support to social enterprise, which is taken in the reference. The key agency providing support to social levels should be the county and city and city enterprise boards, so city enterprises boards. Developing the use of social and public and of local authority, procurement, policy and support and social enterprises to build consortia and to tender for public contracts and Development a range of flexible finance options, including equity type instruments. This next slide explains about the impact of social enterprise in Ireland. So in 2009, there were at least 
11,700 organisations employing over 100,000 people, involving over 560,000 volunteers in their work and managing turnover at least 5 to 5.75 billion euros. If you bear in mind that the Irish GMP in 2010 was about 130 euros, then the community and voluntary sector of accounts for over 3.25% of the national income. So that's the impact of social enterprise in Ireland. This next slide, this tells us about what is the main benefit of social enterprise. So the fourth main benefit is filling service gaps by delivering services provided by neither the private nor public sectors. Social enterprise is flexible and responsive to local needs, helping people to get back to work and get active in their community. Don't mind about that. If that's a case study, which is from one of my studies in ownership. So moving on, the needs and initiative ways. Fifth benefit is delivering on the green agenda. Sixth benefit is delivering state and philanthropic investment, support in urban and rural regeneration. Seventh benefit is sharing ideas and experiences. The eighth and final benefit is building social capital and community spirits. So that's the main benefits of the social enterprise. Next slide is to explain what what are the social enterprise projects. Dr. the web link to show samples of projects of social enterprise is vast and there are many opportunities to develop areas of interest to you and your community. Take a moment and think of an initiative you would like to get involved with and discuss your area of interest within the group or with the people around you. This is about organisations involved in social groups. This is the last slide, final slide of this entire presentation. So go to the foundation.ie, which is the fourth recommendation. Second web link is social, go to socialentrepreneurs.ie. Third web link, fourth recommendation is to go to www.polarotherapy.ie and the last one, the fifth recommendation is go to www.socialenterprise.ie And that's it. I'm not worried about accessibility, I know there's errors, but that's related to the images of this entire presentation. I won't have time to do all of it, but I'll try at least 10 of them. See if there's no, no errors, no spelling errors. Just wait for that to load up. I won't have, I won't have 10, but maybe 5. But there is accessibility. I'm not doing that. I'll click, I'll click check slide again. Oh, the, the, the ones that are the main problem I really don't like is waiting too long and the issue is with the internet or computer it takes ages for some items and features to load. It's very frustrating but it has but it takes time. Unfortunately I can't be able to check the slides. Well there's no issues but I'm gonna to have to stop right here. So that's the end of this presentation. 
that's all 19 slime percentage and that's what social entrepreneurship really is and how how it runs in the businesses throughout the years and in the present future present thank you all for watching